Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rod here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon and Virgo Rising Weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for um, October 8 to October 14th, 2018 and uh, while I'm doing the shuffling guys, I want to remind you that this is a general reading for Virgo Star Sign and this is not your personal reading Therefore, uh, here in this video, I will explain you the meanings of the cards <clears throat> and their synergy in the spread, but it goes to you to align them to your personal situation and to make sense of them. Now, if you want a specific cards for your personal situation and uh, sense made of them, uh, then this is a topic of a personal reading and for personal readings, please check out my website which is uh, listed down below in the description of this video and there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings and uh, one more thing as uh, this is you know month of October the uh, October videos are already out and you can feel free to uh, check them out and if you find them helpful you can um, dive even deeper into the monthly prognosis with um, the extended monthly tarot reading for just dollar forty nine that can be found as well on my website, and there uh, there are two spreads for career and for relationship specifically that regards to your star sign. Now that set aside, going to the tarot reading first. Now we do have a four positional spread. Now the first position will be about the topic of your Virgo week. The second position is about the core of the situation. The third position here. Um, regards to the uh, challenges which are causing predicaments to Virgo and the last position is the guidance that Taro is offering to you. Now let's see what you got. The first position that will be the Magician card. So by itself the Magician is a very very broad card. It, it, don't get me wrong, it, it could mean many things. Uh, the Magician generally however is a very positive one and I have to go by with the most general interpretation for now until I don't see the next the rest of the cards but for now let's say that this is the very first steps of initiation this is what the Magician represents uh, <clears throat> right by the, the method of the Fool's Journey and as it is the very first steps of initiation that card may require from you or the topic for you could be deciding which qualification you should should sign up next all right or which kind of skill you want to master which kind what kind of a knowledge you you have to obtain further so you can grow you know either into your career or either in relationship wise when it comes to interactions with and with communications with different human beings the magician it takes a little bit of a different turn here uh, because uh, the magician don't get me wrong the magician is adored cherished and liked for what the magician is. Therefore, that card is encourages you this week to try to find um, a common ground or agreement, you know, or to, to settle down negotiations based on the current standpoints before it is considered of a adopting new standpoints either career-wise or either relationship-wise. It is imperative here throughout the week to use your uh, communicational skills because this card as an energy card says and as a topic it says that they will somewhat will be boosted so um, you can truly rely on them. Also uh, the magician points that this will be a week of a very determined and uh, very uh, headstrong actions as well regarding certain agendas of yours or as I said a, a very initiative steps toward a, a certain undertaking whatever it is guys you need to know by the appearance of the magician is that you do have a room to grow and if you don't see that just wait the, the, the week to hit you and then you will see where exactly that room is and how you can do it so now the next card this is going to be the core of the situation and that will be the Knight of Wands. This looks like more like an um, adventure here with the Knight of Wands falling into this position because it does says that you will have um, <clears throat> out of nowhere almostly um, 
many options available. I would have say, you know, an opportunities, but they are just just as much as opportunities as, as you make them. So let's say that there will be an options available when they come around. So just to give you an example here, uh, so you can under, understand me better, is that we set a new qualification or a new uh, initiative here with an options available coming through an options available given given to you so what that could be that could be a proposition for a job which will require from you additional skill that you don't have yet but you definitely can obtain all right um, as the job may sign you for some sort of a courses it could also mean you know uh, if you are single it could also mean uh, a, an opportunity or rather like an option available for you to start getting to know a person who would accept you for who you are as the magician is you know and this will be a week where the very initiative step will be made also these cards uh, the, these couple of cards however are pointing to somewhat uh, being very scattered so you have to be mindful of that although uh, having uh, many options available in front of you to incorporate a new knowledge to obtain new skills and to be very determined with your actions etc etc to exert sovereignty as well you know etc uh, also you could kind of like uh, miss a, a very good opportunities from those options available because these cards uh, Virgos asks you to find your thing and as soon as you find your thing your search should stop and you need to start focusing and manifesting it as much as you can because uh, the the knight of wands although is very vigorous and and very ad <clears throat> adventurous to seek new options available the downside of this card is that it burns out very quickly and that knight doesn't have much of a staying power into one place so let me give you an example here it could be that you do finding something interesting and uh, the first time that you face a, even minor predicaments upon that thing you may kind of suddenly use interest lose interest excuse me and redirect yourself into a different undertaking and what that that creates is a time loss all right so as soon as you find something that is even remote uh, remotely interesting to you it will be important to push it as much as you can and then the next card is going to be regarding uh, the uh, challenges which are causing predicaments nine of pentacles so what nine of pentacles is giving us is that you may kind of uh, not be very how can i place it not be very um clamorous about how capable you are to perform if that makes any sense so j just to give you an example here even though you know you have found your thing you have found your moves, muse uh, excuse me uh, you Virgos may be even uh, you, <clears throat> you Virgos may be doubtful that you could bring it to its very end so if it is about qualification that could play out as soon as you start that qualification you may kind of start thinking that it is way too complex for your understanding because everybody is built for a different thing you know um, for example I study tarot but if you ask me to start to start studying astrology I can't because I can't relate it am I stupid I don't get myself for stupid I don't accept myself as stupid but this is just not my thing all right so uh, you may face such of a predicaments here where you could find it a little bit difficult to be executed all right and as we do have the knights of wands as a your foundation as a um, core of the situation that could further further contribute for you abandoning your agenda that you have recently established and trying to redirect yourself into something different uh, that can and should be overcome and it could be overcome by a couple of ways one of them is um, try to maintain a, a clamorous belief for the uh, brighter future just remember your goal and let it light let it it light to illuminate the darkness that uh, you are finding yourself right now this is one of the things and the uh, this is one of the ways and the other way is to ask yourself what makes you less than those who made it all right 
and if you deliberate a little bit upon that uh, question you will find out that the answer is nothing so you are just as capable if not more capable than those who already finalized this development of skills of knowledge you know or of, uh, of undertaking it's just they were a little bit more stubborn all right so you have to be more stubborn when it comes to that <clears throat> And the last card that we do have, this is going to be the guidance card, we do have the death. So this will also involve some drop of, um, of uh, burdens here. The death card points that you cannot carry on uh, something from your past into this new initiation. And this will be uncovered to you as soon as you find your, your new initiation because the week, the week will also involve a process of you finding which one is for you, alright? So as soon as you find it, you will understand that something just isn't isn't synergetic with it. It just it just does not have place any longer in your life. And the death card suggests you to just drop it off as a heavy burden. Uh, that could play out here and here really. That could play out into I a countless. Um, ways it's just the manifestation of the death card as a uh, guidance it's uh, it's infinite uh, in, in its forms of manifestation therefore i cannot i can give you examples but they most likely won't even be remotely uh, accurate to your situation because every single situation of yours it's uh, it's different but let me try here guys um <clears throat> So I will go with the most trivial interpretation or uh, with the most trivial example. So this is a, about you being single and now in this week you realize, you know, that you can start creating a connection with someone who would accept you as who you are. Therefore, they will have uh, more people around them uh, in a term of suitors. So that could be a very handsome guy or a very handsome girl that it kind of gives you, you know, uh, attention, but it, she or he also gives attention to many other people. And that may start making you think that you aren't just good enough, all right, to kind of catch and mesmerize their attention and to enthrall them and to kind of like involve them into more serious uh, connection, into a better relationship and uh, as soon as you deliberate on that you will understand that uh, you are kind of like uh, behaving just as you behaved with your previous suitors all right which is something kind of incompatible with this new one as they have totally different life from your previous suitor so what you need to do here is just drop off those habits you had with the previous ex-boyfriend or a girlfriend you had and try um, try to approach that person in a completely new way which is also involved with you learning uh, to be um, a little bit more for example romantic or to be a little bit more independent or, or you know to be uh, romantic in a different way etc etc so it's kind of like adapting here uh, at the first portion of the week until you find what works for you and as soon, and, and as, soon as you find what works for you uh, it will be much more easier to start uh, manifesting but just to summarize this star reading here as long as you believe in yourself you believe in your capability and you believe that you can do it there will be a, a huge manifestation of your behalf of something good of something that is you to reap rewards from and then we go to the Lenormand reading, which is going to show an event that you should either look forward to or try to avoid, Virgos. Let me shuffle. So, uh, the first card that we do have, this is going to be the, uh, the ship which stands for risk, it stands for traveling, it stands from a, for afar, it stands for adventure. The next one, this is going to be uh, the bear. The bear stands for authority, the bear sta stands for motherhood, the bear stands for uh, 
uh, head strong and also stands for power. And the last one that we do have, this is going to be the ring, which stands for contract, stands for marriage, stands for engagement, stands for a, a cooperation and as well commitment. So there is really only one way to interpret these cards of Lenormand taking under consideration the tarot cards and they say adventurous, powerful commitment. So it's about a, a new initiation or adventurous, powerful um, <clears throat> relationship here as we do, which is also counted as a commitment, cooperation or in general marriage, you know, bondage, etc, etc. So something new and adventurous and very powerful is awaiting you, Virgos, in uh, this in this week of October 8th to October 14th, 2018. And I hope you are ready to give everything you got in it because this is what will take for you to uh, capitalize on it and to manifest it to its ultimate maximum. And don't try to make it just as you tried to make your previous work that you have been fired or you quit or the relationship that you broke or had been broken from your partner. That is something new, that is something for you yet to learn about and yet to learn how to deal with, which there is nothing wrong, all right? It is just, um, <clears throat> you need to give yourself a time for adapting and time for you to start learning. But this learning doesn't mean that you should abandon your, your standpoint of personal sovereignty. Just on the contrary, you need to maintain that sovereignty. So that being said, guys, this was your weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for Virgo uh, for October 8 to October 14, 2018. Again, this was just a general reading for the Virgo star signs. This is not your personal reading. Therefore, uh, I have explained you the meanings of the cards. I have explained you, you know, their synergy, gave you some examples here, but this is just as much as I can do for a general reading of a star sign uh, to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation falls to you guys if you want me to do that for you in a, a separate reading that it is about your situation then uh, this is a matter of a personal reading and for personal readings please check out my website listed down below in the description of this video and there you're going to find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricings Rat signing out now see you next time bye